What is up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get that easy 3D camera wiggly motion type effect in minutes without having to shoot on an old film camera or having to do a bunch of Photoshop trickery like that. So this is what it's gonna look like, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get that. Hope you guys have been good. I've been super busy with Cinepax. We've been launching a bunch of new filters, lots of cool stuff that we've been working on. Uh, if you don't know about that, go follow us on Instagram. Post a lot there, and that's where I've been up to date. Haven't been posted on YouTube too much, been really busy. Definitely wanna get back into it a little bit more. Uh, was just a little burnt out doing the same type of videos. Um, definitely trying to post more and update you guys on what we got going over on Cinepax. So it's, we've got some really cool stuff going on this year. Uh, we're launching another studio. So I'm gonna be trying posting about that, but let's get to the tutorial and talk a little bit about the 3D camera stuff if you want to skip ahead there's little markers at the bottom so feel free to do that because I'm gonna talk a little bit about this effect so it started with the 3d uh, Nishika camera uh, it had four lenses because the world isn't flat splits the frames in half when you take them, then you take it into Photoshop, uh, then you align them all, and then you get that wiggly back and forth effect. I've seen a lot of popular music videos like Broccoli, all these other videos. It's cool, they launched this camera as well. This one's like uh, 100 bucks or so. This is the Reto 3D. It has three cameras instead of four. Still gets the same effect, I've used it a few times. It's cool, it's a lot of work though, and you have to pay to get the film developed. Uh, it's about like 10, 12 bucks to get a roll of 36. You get about like 12 animated GIFs, and that's even if they work good. Uh, it's tricky because you're not sure how they're gonna come out to the end. Uh, the method I'm gonna show you today is only using your iPhone and using uh, just Adobe Premiere, whatever you're editing in. So this is kind of a unorthodox method, uh, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download this app right here and it is called Loopsy. Uh, and so basically we're gonna edit in Adobe Premiere. We're gonna find a screenshot, uh, but it only works on certain shots. So you're gonna kind of have to play around with that. And then we're gonna airdrop that to our phone or upload it to Google Drive or email it to yourself, that JPEG. Then we're gonna bring that into the app, animate it, and then send it back to Adobe Premiere. Kind of a lot of a workaround, but the effect is so easy to do uh, in the iPhone versus actually doing it in Photoshop and adding all these effects and filters. So once you get the app, let's hop into Adobe Premiere and we're gonna take that screenshot and we're gonna bring it into our phone, animate it and upload it back. All right, so we have our music video in here. So we're gonna wanna find a screenshot. The main thing we're looking for is depth because what this does is it basically kind of guesses where your subject is and then kind of wiggles the background behind them. So sometimes you need to try a few different clips to find the best that works. So I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna find a good spot. So let's say right when he does this we have it start wiggling uh it is gonna crop in so uh, i'm gonna put a cut right here and then i'm gonna come and click this and i'm gonna make sure it's on jpeg is perfect and then just know where you save this so if you have an airdrop if you're on a mac you can easily just airdrop that jpeg straight to your phone and we can start from there if you're on a pc you're gonna have to upload it to like a dropbox email it to yourself or something along those lines I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that straight into Google Drive, and I'm gonna pull that up on my phone now. So the app is a little pricey, I couldn't find, but uh, you could get it for the year for $40, try it out for three, try it out for three days. It definitely saves you a lot of time if you're trying to recreate this effect in um, After Effects or uh, Photoshop, the fact that it kind of crops them out for you definitely helps a lot. So let's go ahead and hop into that app and see if this clip will work. So I'm opening up Loopsy and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add that photo that I just took. Now you can see that it says it's estimating the depth and there we go. We got a little wiggly effect so we can add a lot to this. We can go ahead, we can add a filter if we want. That'll definitely save us some time if you do wanna give it a certain look. Maybe we wanna go black and white. Um, there's a lot we can play around with. I think I'm gonna leave the filter off on this one. 
and then there's 3D stickers. So sometimes these look cool, sometimes these don't. They kind of add some uh, foreground elements and whatnot that you can put into your scene. The rain is a pretty cool one. Uh, we have snow as well. What is this? Sleet, lightning. Um, so there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Let's check out the dust. That's all right. Uh, they even have the classic film frame. I'm not really digging that. Uh, if you want a hot dog, that's a little weird. Some of these are cool. Some of these are kind of lame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rock with the rain on this one. And let's go ahead and let's look into background. So you looks like you can change the whole background. That's not really working. Uh, we're really, I'm not here for that. We're really here just for, we can add a little bit of noise. Let's see. We got VHS. That's helpful. I definitely like some of this grain. This is uh, pretty nice. They even have some really cool light leaks in here, which can save you a lot of time in post. Let's see this right one. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to stick with this grain right here. I kind of like that. It gives it a nice little texture. Uh, we can also add flares. Let's check that out. So that's just a constant flare. Kind of makes it look like it was uh, like a film photo and it got exposed. Um, and they have lots of flares in here that you can apply. Uh, we'll leave that top flare. I think we can make it wiggle. Let's see what the blur does. Uh, so that blurs our subject. That's not very helpful. Uh, we could play. So this is vintage one. So they have all these. What is this? This is in and out. Oh, that's like, yeah, no slow motion. Kind of trippy. I definitely like the vintage. I think that's what I'm going to go with and then explore. So that's basically what it's doing. You can see it's separating him from the background. We have our background right there. So yeah, it's basically like masking it out for you. Super helpful. Um, I thought there was a way to speed it up, but I guess not. Oh wait, there we go. So we can play around with the speed if you click into it. So then we're gonna come up here to go to export and then we can save it. And then what I can do is I can just so if you're on a Mac, you could just airdrop this to yourself right there. Uh, if you're on a PC, you could use like VLC, save the video or uh, upload it to like Google Drive or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just downloaded the Loopsy uh, from my Google Drive. And if we play this, we'll see that it's small, obviously, because this is 4K. And then this exported out, let's see. This exported at 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS. So I'm gonna scale that to frame size and it's gonna cut. It's gonna hit that and then we can cut away. And then we could even like do like a speed up or something like let's say we wanted to cut back into that clip. Boom. We could even speed that up if we want it to wiggle a little faster. That's kind of cool. Look at that. So there we go. That's uh, one way that you can use Loopsy. There's definitely a lot. You can play around with all the different filters, uh, but you can really get creative with it and this can really help with your edit. So that's one way to do the 3D effect in uh, Adobe Premiere. Someone recommended me the app, uh, checked it out, definitely enjoyed it and thought it was a cool little trick for music videos, saves you some time. Uh, I definitely want to do another video on some more mobile apps like this that I use uh, just for music videos and b-roll and just some cool film type looks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what apps you guys use uh, that are similar to this. Um, I've used Loopsy for a while, so it's definitely a cool one. Uh, a little pricey at the $40 mark for the whole year, but if you use it for like one or two music videos, I think it's worth it in that sense. Um, but yeah, make sure you cancel it by that year or they're going to charge you $40 again. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I hope you guys found this useful. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.